What is going on, guys? We are back with another video today in our Chicago Bears franchise. It is week 12. We are on our final game of our divisional tour. We just got done playing the Packers and the Vikings. Won both of those games. And, of course, now the worst of the three, the Lions. Of course, we did have a very good game last week. Kincaid should have won player of the week. Instead, Aaron Jones for the Packers went off with almost 200 yards rushing. Totaled over 200 yards. But he did have four touchdowns, which is the big killer there. Kincaid still did pretty damn well, and he does have an upgrade here, which he doesn't usually get a lot of. So hopefully we can make this thing count. What is his needs? Oh, God, he's not good at all. Thank God he's really fast because he gets really open, but he's really not that great of a player. So let's get his possession up, get his catching and traffic and all that good stuff up. Uh, none of that is what he got, though. <laughs> nice. Golden Tate. Or Golden Tate? That's not Golden Tate. Diamond Tate. Get his power rusher up a little bit more because, of course, the more power move, which he had none of, the better he can get to the quarterback, which obviously equals more stats, and then we can work on block shed. It'll all work itself out. Perry Ross, a cornerback that I have no care in the world about. Don't know why. Is it because he's old? It's probably because he's old, right? 23? Eh, I guess he's not old. He's just two years in and hasn't started. That's probably why. Kevin King. Honestly, at this point, it really doesn't matter which one. So we're just going to go with man coverage, try to get the scheme fit. And uh, that's pretty much it. Speed upgrade for Kevin King. 92 speed. That's huge. Adrian Amos. Getting close to maxing out here. I don't think he's going to do it, though. He's 33K away from the next upgrade. He has one final upgrade. Can he beat 29? I don't know. It's 34K. Already halfway through the season. I don't think it's going to happen, to be honest. And it really sucks because it's fun to see that final upgrade, which is always... Way better than the other ones, but I don't think that's going to happen. So here we go against the Lions. Here we are playing in Detroit. Stafford and company looking good, but not good on the record. Four and six. They did just come off of a win, I believe. So they've got a little bit of momentum. They've got a chance at the playoffs if they can really turn it around. You know, 10 and six is definitely good enough to probably make the playoffs. Uh, but obviously, they're going to need to win pretty much every game, especially with the way. The Packers are playing. The Vikings are above them, and they're not even doing super well. And then more importantly, the NFC South looking to take, honestly, both spots. Vikings just lost recently, of course, because they took a loss from us. It's a very competitive NFC, and I don't know if there's a spot for the Lions, honestly. They're going to need a lot of help, and they're going to need to help themselves with a win today. I just don't think nine wins is going to be enough, and even if they do get nine wins... It'd be very rare to see that. Like, I just don't even expect they'll get nine. Very close to a face mask there. Kincaid all the way to the 27-yard line. Trying to get to him to 1,000 yards on the receiving season. And the kick receiving season. Could do it. I don't know, though. It's going to be close. It's going to come down to how much our opponents can score. Which, at this rate, is not a very uh, good amount. And more importantly, Equinemius St. Brown keeps damn stealing him. The outside, good blocking, perfect blocking. Howard, one to beat, beats him, but of course, the truck took a little long. Still 21 yards off the first snap of the game on the ground. Try to get it off to Kincaid, could not, and the worst animation in Madden history strikes again with a fumble. That animation literally is always a fumble, every single time. Don't know why it's in the game, it's so bad. And there goes Howard, getting a lot of room again. Get about 15 yards there, almost 16. Almost gets the first. And Hughes, it's a great throw on the money, but it's a tough one for Hughes, especially with Slay on him, and he can't hold on. Going to go back to the ground. Ooh, maybe not. We're going to go with some slants. Mike Evans curl route. He loves to live that curl life. And that's a terrible throw by Nash. Look at the look at the little pirouette there. Was, I don't even think that's the word I'm looking for. I'm looking for... I don't know, snapshot or something, I don't know. Still of uh, Mike Evans trying to extend his entire body to recover on that and just not going to happen because it's a terrible throw from an MVP quarterback. Well, it's a good chance for the Lions early here now with that, the mistake. And there goes Green forcing the ball out. Going to bring five rushers here. He's worried, and there's another swat out. I mean, it's not like the looks are great anyways, but two misses so far. All the time in the world, and he's easily going to get it to Golden Tate, who takes it all the way down to the 16. And there goes Roquan right up the middle. I thought they were going to take that throw right to the screen, but he hesitated and he got taken down instantly. Run play, can't get off the line. Good job, Floyd. He's been huge in the run support. 
And last week he did have a, a you know a sack and a half, so he's playing pretty well. Knox is locked up as usual. He's a decent pass rusher. He just doesn't play it. And there goes Kevin King with another pick. Obviously, this week is his first one, and this could go for the six. He's running his heart off, but Stafford apparently beats him to the line. Really wish we would have got that block from, I think, Green. Play action, and nobody's going to cover him. Right up the middle, Howard is getting a lot of good lanes. We might have to just depend on Howard this whole game. Already over halfway to 100 in the first quarter. We should come up with points. You know, this has been a really ugly game both sides, but with their 4-6 and six record, this is honestly potentially a, an improvement for them from their day-to-day. -day. We're just going to get Nash running. Nash down to the 20, and Hughes gets hurt down the field. I see Hughes down there. Don't know how the hell you would have gotten hurt on that. Might take this opportunity to run a, a, like a sweep play, though, with Kincaid. And Howard, never mind. Kincaid sets the edge. And we score a touchdown. Howard's having a game. Great blocking so far. Upper arm bruise. Keep Kincaid in for sure. Third and three from the 44-yard line. Knox wants his third sack. I can't really promise that because Knox is absolutely horrendous. His ratings are good. He just sucks. Like, he literally can do nothing. And King with a huge hit. How the hell did we recover there? Got to give it to Stafford, though. It's really not even his fault this game. These guys are not holding on to anything. Hughes is back in. The man. Curl around on the outside again. Has the look. Mike Evans holds on. Honestly, nine times out of ten, we could probably hit the curl route. Really could. But the real question is, when we go for the curl route, is he actually going to hit the curl route? <laughs> that's the that's the main question. Down the middle of the field. Burton. Ooh, it's risky. What a catch. What's the flag? Is that going to be a late hit? What's the story here? Please don't be a hold. It was a risky throw, and it would have been all for nothing. The risk would have been stupid. Come on. Cut back. Howard tries to run through him. Can't do it. When we're, you know, 20 yards away, they seem to give us some running lanes, and they kind of did the same there, you know. Second and 14. Up the middle looks have been pretty good for us. Damn, Kincaid is not going to burn. And that's a terrible throw by Nash. Jesus. A deep out. So uh, Hughes is obviously the main look, but if Kincaid burns over top, we're not, uh, not worried about it. Ooh, Mike Evans. Mike Evans, perfect play. Mike with a one-handed catch. What a beast. Honestly, if it was someone else, maybe I'd be a little more excited. But Mike has just been so dependable. I, I almost expect it from him. He's going to have to take a shot while we're about to be hit. And Hughes, who's uh, definitely been slowing down quite a bit the last few weeks, gets hammered. I think it was an overthrow, though. I don't think it was us. Oh, is that Mike? Mike really not even open. Bad decision by us, but at least he gets a hand on it. I'm really looking at the time here. And that's why you wait. I was going to run, but I didn't think I was going to get it. Cohen easily does and brings it 31 yards down the field to the 8-yard line. Last play of the first quarter. Lead block from Burton. Oh, look at the spin. Oh, look at Howard. Howard has earned everything of it today. He has done well. There we go. Everyone's taking a nap because it's a boring game. Lines have a chance to make it not a boring game with this, uh, this drive, but 3rd and 8. Not an easy down to convert on, and that's a screen. And, oh, God, I didn't even see it. All right, carry on, Johnson, if you say so. If not, you spin me right round. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. That's it. You know, imagine that with that sound bite without the copyright. Try it again. This time he has a bit of a step. Honestly, the perfect throw. I mean, Alexander's all over him. And rolling. Barely get the throw off. Good job. Right, Cohen. Oh, look at the move. I am going to have to lower the audio on that one because that was an amazing move by Nash. Weird audio from me. Let's just get on to the next play and forget it ever happened. Inside Burton. Trustworthy guy. Holds on to it. Cam Chancellor all over it. Good chance one of those teams isn't going to make the playoffs. So if the Vikings win, this is going to be an interesting one because they might both miss if the Vikings win. And Howard, one to beat. Even though he doesn't beat him, gets over 100 yards, and it's only the second quarter. Even though Howard's had some nice tackle breaks and all that, i got to give it to this offensive line. And a big improvement when it comes to run blocking, but ironically now we shift from last week where we had great run blocking, or great pass blocking, no run blocking, and now this week we have no freaking time to throw the ball. I mean, it's nice, but a little consistency, lads. Look at Howard lowering the shoulder. We're just gaining first down after first down. Why even put it in the air? They brought up the extra guy. 
Uh oh. Uh oh. Nosh is gonna walk into the end zone. A little boot top. Nash Adcock for the touchdown rushing. Getting shut out 21 to zero. The shutout is likely to end on this drive unless we force a turnover. Lions driving down pretty nicely, can't lie. This is usually the time a team that's reeling can get some scores right before half. It's the worst time to give up a score too, but that's usually when the team kind of gets like, hey, we're not gonna let them get a sneaky one over top on us. Rather give them slow looks down the field than one deep look right over top on us because we're coming up. Oh, what a bat. That was almost picked. Honestly, if I was paying attention more, I would have probably picked that for a touchdown. I was really like, looking just to chase him down from behind because I didn't think we were going to get a hand on that. Here making plays, he's done well. And there goes Manning making plays as well. This defense has been sneakily good this year in coverage. And it continues with, you know, fourth and 14 here. Kincaid with a good chance to return this. Going to cut it back left, and there's that lane. Kincaid, one to beat. Oh, he gets hammered. Please don't be hurt. Jesus, what a return, but holy crap, that was a huge hit. Perfect throw to Cohen. Right on time. Cohen's going to get hit down to the 29-yard line. Good weight, and Burton dives into the end zone for the touchdown. Just no chance in the world for them to stop us. Really, just none. And I sim one play, and they score a 75-yard passing touchdown. I will say it's going to make it more interesting. Well, that definitely uh, was a bit of a shocker. Didn't expect that. At least it's going to be more fun to play. I'm not going to lie. When we play our um, all-position and our Kyler Murray, I'm way more intrigued. And I, I, I lose track of time very easily. The game ends up becoming almost the fourth quarter right at the beginning, it almost feels but that's because the game is close, and we're actually fighting. We're working back into the games. But with these, after the first quarter, the game's almost sealed. I've got them on pretty much max sliders. The best I can do next would be to just drop our sliders to zero and just play an offensive battle. I mean, hey, they've got the shot. They got that momentum play. If they would have just stopped us for a touchdown, you know, if they would stopped us with a field goal and got that touchdown, it would have been a completely different game. What a throw. It's a huge hit by Eddie. And even though that guy's been getting hammered all afternoon... Hold on to that one. Oh, we had him with Roquan. We had so many guys to cover, though, and he got it off. Lucky to get that in there. On the slant, that's ironically Green's coverage, but he was playing a little off, and he got bumped into by King, I believe. Oh, no. Let him have it. Oh, that's really bad, man. Take a shot in the end zone and then go for it. And there's a shot anyways, and oh, my God, Galladay. Just made Trevor Williams look like a child. They go for one. We only get to the 19. Don't know how it happened. I just simmed it, honestly. <laughs> I just want to get back into the action. It's a little bit more fun now because there actually is... Oh, we should not have run that curl. That was a stupid curl route. Ah, crap. More interesting now because it's a little bit closer. 11 points. And uh, their defense has been okay. Kincaid. Oh, it's three freaking hits. And, oh, I thought it was Kincaid. And like we said last game, it's about around the time of the season where Howard gets hurt. So here it is. How many games are it going to be this time? Cohen. Huge hit as well. Four-yard gain only. Here's Cohen. Howard's season. No. Quick throw to Kincaid on the drag. And he fumbles on another hit stick. I can't even blame him for fumbling. How many times he's been hit hard? Jesus. And where's Howard's injury? Achilles sprain, high re risk, so he's not coming back in until he's ready, which could be the entire game. Lines are right back in, and things are going bad. Fifth career sack. What the hell did Knox have a sack and sim? To the outside, Trevor all over it, but he still holds on for a three yard gain. To the outside, and wrapped up immediately by Amos. Actually loses two yards. To the outside, picked off by Trevor, who finally. Comes up with a play, makes up for the, the Kenny Galladay uh, touchdown. Obviously, that wasn't on Kenny, but either way. Across the field, Burton diving for it. Either way, even though he dove, he shouldn't even have gotten it. And right off the edge instantly for the sack. Jefferson, who's used to having about five sacks a game versus us with his first. When we're going to bring anyone on a blitz. It's going to be Mac. We brought the whole team in green, the youngster. Making another big play. I hope he doesn't get hurt. He's literally just the more the more polished defensive Kincaid. Inside. 
to the outside. That's kind of our fall king, though. Able to kind of scare him out of bounds. Kevin King on uh, Galladay is the perfect matchup. That's not a smooth route, and oh my lord. Lines are starting to shut us down a bit. Cohen does get the first down, though. This could be a really good play as long as we get a little bit of time to work with. I'm just going to have Shaheen as an all-time blocker here. He's got a bit of a step. And he misses a wide open Hughes for a touchdown. Absolutely butt naked open. They have an extra guy in, but he's not really in the middle of the field, which is where we're trying to run the ball. Exactly. Cohen with a quick spin. Somehow didn't get it off in time. Gets to about midfield. Howard would have been on par for about 200 this game. Curl route to Mike. Who is open? Kinda, not really. That one is a perfect throw considering he was all over him too. Cohen's fast. If we can get that edge, he should be able to just outrun everyone. And that's exactly the plan. Just catch the edge. Let someone from behind. It doesn't matter because he's going to catch the edge with the speed. Kincaid may score. Kincaid for the touchdown. He's too fast. He's too fast. Who was on him there? Was that? There's no way it was Cam and... Either way, either of them should have been in man coverage versus Kincaid, but don't tell me it was Cam in cover. Really? If that doesn't tell you how how hard these sliders are, even though we dominate, I don't know what does. How is Cam keeping up that much with Kincaid? I know this it's separating, you know, a good five yard separation at the end there, but that's probably almost twenty speed difference. And he was that close. Like at this point for Cam Chancellor's age. That's like if I had Golden, or Golden, I keep calling Golden Tate. If I had Diamond Tate running down the field on John Ross. Like, there's no way he would come five yards close at all. Terrible decision. Kayon Johnson, once again, looking lost, and he just takes a nap. Of course, if they don't get a touchdown on this drive, well, we'll say if they don't get a field goal or better on this drive, they're going to lose the game. Ooh, I thought I had him. I know we were shallow there, but I thought we had a chance to pick that. I didn't think he was going to get it over. All right, Mac. Speed rush off the edge. He does get it, too. He gets around to Mac. Damn it. Perfect timing, too. Throws it. Oh, Compass making plays. He dropped a lot of them early on with hit sticks, but holding on to a couple of them lately and bounces out for first. The, the, what is it? QB contain. There it is. And King with his second pick of the game, I believe, comes up with one on Galladay. Fifth pick of the season on the Packers last week. Well, whatever week it was. I don't know if it was last or not. Look at Mike Evans. He's a monster, and Cohen is gone. Over 100 yards for two different backs today. Two minutes off the clock, up 42-17. to 17. Absolutely dominating as per usual. We are the best team in football by far, so it kind of reflects the scoreboards, obviously. And Eddie up the middle. Ooh, carry on Johnson with a nice bounce out. Ooh, okay. Eddie Jackson in the hole. Can't bring him down. Carry on scores a TD. A little late. Oh, my Lord. We got to take a look back at that. We've got to take a look back at that. Oh, my God. TJ Lang never had a chance. Is this a penalty? Holy crap. By the way, when you're switching like this, can't they just kick it? Like, how come the game makes you stop? Surely in real life, you can kick the ball there. You don't have to wait. Because, like, what's to stop the team from just shifting anytime? They're out of position, and Mike Evans puts a guy on their butt. Oh, my Lord, this game. We've had some very good blocks. Mike has been pretty much locked up on that side. I would love to see him get a touchdown here. He does have the step. And there's pick number two. <laughs> Talking about those picks, there it is. Mac off the edge, gets locked up. Should be another pick for Trevor. It is Trevor. Obviously looking for the end zone here and almost accelerated. Perfect time. We were waiting for the blocks, found the lane, accelerated, just missed it. Do we give Nash another shot at this route? They have the second safety there, so I don't think it's going to be open. Oh, it will be open. It should be open. Under pressure, he hits that throw. I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. Under pressure, he hits that throw, but when he's wide open lane... Nobody around him, he can't. Oh, well, they will score another touchdown before the game's over, but 49-31 to is the final for this matchup. Not bad at all for a ground, uh, ground attack. And then, of course, Nash threw two picks. One of them really wasn't. You know, that, that last pick was just kind of a whatever pick. But the defense was pretty damn good. Obviously, the points are just BS reflection because we had Sims. 
49 points. Not bad. Over 500 yards total. Howard, of course, unless it was misdiagnosed, was just injured for the game, so it's fine as long as he comes back for next week. I'm not mad. Here's the passing attack. He threw four picks. We had two, so there's that. Howard, 122 yards, two touchdowns. Cohen, 138 yards, one touchdown. Nash, 44 yards, one touchdown. Did fumble. Golden Tate killed it that game. Kincaid was all right himself, coming off of two good games as opposed. Defensively, Roquan, Mack, both had a sack. You do Jermaine. Jermaine Jefferson was going to have a sack against us. He's always killing this offensive line. Four picks total for us, two for them. Kicking, we didn't even kick a damn field goal. Cody Barkey's got the luckiest job in the world. <laughs> not a lot of, uh, not a lot to ask from him. The worst we do is we give him like a 50 plus to hit once every like three games. We have some upgrades we'll address next week. Scouting, I'm not really even worried about it. We already have a ton of players scouted, anyways. 11 and 0. Did we have a player of the week? I, I mean, maybe Kevin King, I suppose. It was Trevor Williams actually? Either one. Golden Tate for them, but obviously they lost. Packers are 8-3, and three, so it looks like the Packers are going to take a playoff spot, and the Vikings will probably join the Lions at a top 15 pick. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you're new to the channel, maybe subscribe. Like if you enjoyed it. Maybe follow me on Twitter, Jerome P. Care. Most important thing is that you guys, uh, you know, you guys are watching, so hopefully you guys come back and watch the next video. But until next video, see ya!